Does no fap affect your level of social anxiety? Yeah, it does. Here's why. Now, long-term porn use leads to the overstimulation of the dopamine receptors in your brain. That high you get from ejaculating your potential timmies is because your brain is experiencing a surge of dopamine, the chemical that rewards activities essential for your survival like having sex and eating food. Now stay with me. The surge of dopamine causes some dopamine receptors to get shut down and corresponding nerve cells to eventually decline because of overuse. They cannot keep up with the abnormal levels of that chemical, so they lose sensitivity to it and eventually die out. That decline in nerve cells is scientifically proven by different studies on hyperfrontality and desensitization. I said that word correctly from the first time, okay? Caused by addiction and something specific for you. Uh, a study conducted by PhD scientist Simone. Kun and Jurgen Gelinat, I'm sorry if I'm just butchering your name guys, so they found that there's a significant negative association between reported pornography hours per week and gray matter volume, especially in the frontal cortex, meaning that jacking off makes your frontal cortex smaller. Now here's the thing, the frontal cortex is responsible for cognitive control when it comes to urges and impulses, motivation, abstract thinking, solving problems, regulating behavior, and as a whole your higher thinking. So the erosion of the frontal cortex caused by long term jerking off makes us less able to socialize in the 21st century because the very act of long term fapping erodes the skills that we need for socializing. The more you masturbate, the more you turn yourself into a dopamine seeking fiend and less of a motivated human being. Also, this very lack of motivation and affirmative action towards achieving any type of success adds to the negative self-talk you may be already experiencing. So not only is there a physiological reason why you feel socially anxious because of fapping, you know, the shrinkage of the frontal cortex, there's a psychological one, added negative self-talk. Okay, that was reason one. Now reason two. By exposing yourself to such a dopamine high achieved without any effort really, you lose interest in social interactions and participating in the world because it simply cannot meet the high dopamine standard you're experiencing from your porn usage. When you lose social interest, you lose the social skills necessary for interacting with others. Then whenever you have to face that aspect of life, it feels awkward because you simply don't know how to do it. You avoid it and replace it with your safe haven that's stroking your penis to naked strangers on the internet. Let me scare you a little bit, okay? As you go longer and longer with your porn use, you need more and more dopamine to get you the same high you used to get in the beginning due to the decline in dopamine receptors. So keep on fapping and you'll find yourself in some pretty weird places just so you can feel arousal, okay? All in all, Fapping is a shortcut to a reward, dopamine. You can get lots of dopamine, fast, with no real life effort. As you're doing it though, you erode your brain, lose important life skills, and become more perverted. With no fap on the other hand, you take the long road to a reward. The reward is not only dopamine though, it's oxytocin from social bonds, confidence, pride, motivation and so on. Along the way, you evolve yourself since you need actual skills and qualities to reach those rewards. Those include dedication, perseverance, evaluation skills, grit, etc. So yeah. Long term fapping leads to social anxiety because 1. It shrinks the frontal cortex and that's responsible for your higher cognitive functions needed for interactions with others and 2. The dopamine overstimulation leads to a decreased interest in anything not related to porn including socializing. So there you go, reasons why you shouldn't fap. <laughs> now how do you stop though? Well depending on how much of a habit it is for you I have different suggestions. If you're not that heavily into it, save your juices for the lady you're about to meet. Believe me, not having this fap alternative makes you very good and creative at figuring out how to get laid in real life. If you do find it very hard to stop, I recommend that you take baby steps every single day that will replace the addiction with activities that promote happiness and well-being, meditation, more exercise, etc. Um, the 21 day challenge I made for myself is all the baby steps that help me the most so feel free to check that out. This playlist right here has 5 animated videos from the social anxiety series, you're welcome to watch that as well. Uh, for more information, there's a link in the description, and man, I hope I helped you. Stay strong, this too will pass, alright? If you're dealing with social anxiety, stop jerking off. Trust me on this one, it will help.